Last week on the season. Hopefully we can get our team a bit more healthy this week and uh, be ready for a very difficult challenge uh, in Memphis Saturday. Coach Freeze has called you the alpha dog. So who's the toughest guy on that Land Sharks D? I'd probably say me because I'm the smallest, but everybody knows that I play pretty physical and play a lot bigger than my size. I mean, I can't wait to see my mom. I'm going I'm to make her cook for me every day. I'm going to ask her a lot of questions, you know, get on her nerves like kids do. It makes me feel loved. No matter how good or how bad or how hard I may have had to be on him, it lets me know how much you really appreciate it. Sliding down on the knee is Arthur Mallette, and Memphis has won this one with eight seconds left. They can go out and take a knee. I will never leave you. I love you. It's not going to change. But it stings. There ain't no way around it. It's going to hurt. Walmart just to grab a few things and uh, we're gonna have like a little special thing for you. I'm gonna show you how I prepare my meals. Hey, I'm gonna show you how to make red Kool Aid today. <laughs> Gotta get you a crock pot. I'm sorry, but if you're a college student out of crock pot, you're losing right now. Think about it. It'll cook your meal all day. All day you can take a nap, go to class, study, work out, whatever you wanna do. But when the time up, after eight hours, your meal gonna be done. Yeah, one more thing we gotta add to the dish to make it perfect. Your red Kool-Aid. Most people, you know, they just grab any type of utensil, but this right here is what you call a Kool-Aid spoon, where you don't use it for anything else but to make Kool-Aid. It's very important, a lot of people don't do that. <sighs> yes, sir. The beauty of it is it's already going to work. So now it's just time for me to, you know, get out of the kitchen and uh, head to class. this all day. Come check this out. Well, as you see, guys, I got my, you know, my healthy balanced meal. I uh, got my pot roast, got my rice, got my vegetables. Very delicious looking, if I do say so myself. But, you know, it's fun having you guys spend time with me all day. I really enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on Saturday. Great day. Let's get it going. No bad habits. Let's get to get stretching, guys. Listen, hold each other accountable. Let's go stretch like a champion, hold each other accountable. For the Rebels' Week 8 matchup versus divisional foe Texas A&M, tight ends coach Maurice Harris is preaching accountability, and he knows that no detail is too small. Mary Lou, you gotta get it today now. You gotta be on it. You understand that? You gotta be on it. Hey, I'm not taking these on anybody today. I already informed these guys, you got me? All right, good. Go. Good, 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 good. Good, good. Come tight now, come tight, because that guy's gonna squeeze, okay? Let's go, come tight, 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 tight! Good. Eyes, cut, good. Good, let's go. Eyes, cut, good. Get better, guys, get better, get better, get better, get better. Let's go, big leg! Drive, drive, leg, no! No, no, grab him! Grab him! Grab him! Look. Finish him, man. Yes, sir. You got him? Come on, man. Get better than that, huh? Let's go. Let's go. Get better, guys. Get better. Get better. Good. Hands up. There you go. All right, there you go. There you go. Move some, big boy. Move some, big boy. Destruction. Drag your feet. Let's go. Yes. Yeah. There you go right there. Hey, guys, listen. Not a bad practice, man, but we got to learn how to compete every single play. You got me? Every single play, okay? And once we get the play, let's hear him get lined up. Let's hear him get lined up once we get the play, okay? Let's go. Titans on three. Titans on three. Let's go. Three. Oh, yeah. right, see you guys later. 
There's a snap to Jeremy Liggins trying to work off the right side. Liggins fighting toward the goal line, and he's in there. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Jeremy Liggins with his first TD as an Ole Miss Rebel. I grew up like two, three miles away from the stadium. and uh, like I can go on my front porch and I can hear the announce over the PA. I can hear the crowd when he's roaring and everything. I was listening with Jeremy this morning. I told him that when his playing days are over, he could be the mayor of Oxford, you know? Yeah, people around here, they really love him. Anywhere I go, they ask me about Jeremy Liggins. And, you know, it's just, it's just a great thing to see that, you know, the, the town and city of Oxford is, is counting on Jeremy to make something happen for itself. And the Rebels are going for it on fourth and inches as your shotgun quarterback is Liggins. He takes the snap, he fakes the handoff, keeps and runs off the left side and powers to the 40-yard line. First down, Ole Miss. Go, 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 go. We got to keep working on that. Did you feel that? Yeah, you feel that? We got to keep working on that. Hey, when you back in your, in your apartment, just do that every now and then. You got me? Do that. Like a little dance or something. You got me? You can dance a little bit, huh? Yeah, I got a little room. I got you. Okay, let's go. Coming out of here today trying to give more energy than we take. One of the givers, not take them. Even when we first started, we, we told them, look, we may end up moving you to another position depending on what's going to help be best for our football team. He said, Coach, all I want to do is help this team. Uh, so you look at, he's, he's played quarterback, he's played tight end, and he's played left tackle in the spring. Um, and, and he really could play just about anything, to be honest with you. Selling out to help the team, man. Whatever I got to do to help the team win because I know that's a bigger outlook if the team win than if I go out and score two or three touchdowns and we lose. While it's clear Jeremy Liggins' easygoing nature has made him well-liked within the Rebel locker room, his path to where he is today wasn't always so clear. When I was like three years old, they found blood in my urine. and uh, So we went to the doctor and uh, my doctor was Dr. Sanford here in Oxford and he actually referred me to St. Jude when I was three. And uh, once we got there and went through the whole process of getting into St. Jude, they diagnosed me with uh, a Williams tumor. It was in my left kidney. I just had to start our way back over, man, but um, thank God for St. Jude. That's the reason I'm here right now. In and out of the hospital at a young age, Liggins would need to have his left kidney removed in order to save his life. Jeremy, he, he's the right type of person. If he has anything wrong with him, you're never going to know. Uh, he's just going to go about his business uh, every day. Jeremy's always played with one kidney. That 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 uh, probably was a bigger concern to me uh, in the beginning than it is now. Uh, you know, I, I I know he had to overcome that. He's overcome a lot of things like that. He had it. He beat it. For real? Mm. He didn't. No. Really? What? Yeah. The only reason I found out when he came over to tight end and he still had the rib protection on. I said, man, what's going on? He said, Coach, I only have one kidney. I said, oh, okay. You know, but he doesn't make excuses. You know, he makes, he makes things happen. A lot of guys always try to give me, you know, jokes and he he's and ha-has about it, you know, because I used to be a quarterback. And they always be like, you know, take that quarterback jacket off. You ain't a quarterback no more. But um, I guess a lot of people just don't understand the reason that I was wearing it. And once I explained to them what happened, a lot of people understood. Through his hardships or difficulties, um, he certainly has overcome them with the right type of attitude to, to put others first and to, to be a giver and, and not a taker. I think I'm just like any regular person out here. I just got one kid and that's it. So it really don't bother me at all. And Carlton Martin's in there with Nick Parker, Jeremy Liggins, the jumbo sets. The Rebels are going to try to wedge it in there. Jeremy takes the snap. He goes straight ahead over the top. He breaks the plane. Touchdown, Ole Miss. You know, what a weapon. You get in close quarters and you can slam a, a 300 pounder in there that's an athlete. I mean, that's just how versatile this guy really is. Go, baby. Hey, Big! Big, you got that thing in, baby boy. Oh. Oh. It does take a guy that has to come in and study, a guy that has to um, you know, be willing to be coached. To be the best, you know, you got to want to be the best. Man. And that's kind of what I did every day. I just try to be the best I can and set my goals high and uh, get better every day. We are getting these clocks, the countdown clocks, ready for the growth. 
Two ranked top 25 teams coming in. Be a big one. Timer hits, the clock goes down, 7.30, everybody's gonna rush to the designated spots, areas, and they're gonna bring out the tents. It's gonna be chaos, it's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be fun. Last clock, time to go home, beat the Aggies tomorrow. One week removed from a grueling setback at Memphis, the Rebels returned to the confines of Vaught-Hemingway Stadium with a singular focus. Get back their swagger. Squaring off with their SEC West Ken Texas A&M would give the Rebs a chance to not only reclaim their confidence, but also to notch a very crucial win in the race for their division. Enjoy these moments. It's not coach talk when we tell you that these moments in life are spare. They don't come around too often. You're talking about 12, 13, 14 times a year. And for some of you guys, it's done real soon. Enjoy every minute of tonight's moment. Enjoy it, but play with great effort and energy every step. You guys have so much talent in this circle. Let it show tonight. Let it show every snap. Play every single play like it's the one that matters in the outcome of the game. Right. with as much passion for 60 minutes, and then let's look up at the scoreboard and see what it says, and we'll live with the results, but I think you'll like them. Take a stand, one, two, three, take a stand. To get a start on a team right away, knowing that you can move the ball, it builds confidence, not only for the offense, but it carries on for the defense to turn up also, so we knew we had to go in and execute the game plan, and we did that from the start. First down, Kelly, play action pass. Chad's going deep, down the middle of the field, far side. Treadwell knocked down at the last moment. There comes a flag. He wrapped his arm around him at the 15-yard line. Okay, F the team out. Let's go. F the team out. There we go. It sets the tone for the game. Um, it shows the defense that we're not afraid to attack them. And um, that's what Coach Warner wanted to do from the start. He wanted to take a shot and let them know that um, we're, going, we're not afraid to throw it deep. So it opened up the underneath game and, and the run game also. There's his snap. He hands it off to Walton. Straight to the middle. Has a little bit of opening to the 30, to the 35, to the sidelines of the 40, to the 45. Knocked out of bounds around midfield. Option to the near side. Kelly fakes it, keeps it. He's got the first down as he's pulled down. And looks like a face mask also. There's a snap and a pistol. He fakes it. Sprints out to his left. Wants to throw. Fires in the end zone. It's caught. Touchdown. Ole Miss. And the Rebels strike first as Evan Ingram gets his first of the season. Well, I seen the corner kind of come up at first. It was a little boot bootleg, and I seen the corner kind of hesitate a little bit, not knowing if I was going to throw the corner out to Quan. I said, you know what, I'm going to try to hit my over route. And I seen Evan, but I didn't see the safety coming down. And if I would have thrown a little bit farther in front of Evan, then might have got picked. But uh, Evan made a great play on it. He made a great catch, and he got the touchdown. Chad Kelly was rolling to his left, threw back across his body into a receiver who was in between two Texas A&M defenders. Well, that's what play action does, David. It absolutely just froze the linebackers. Let's make a statement tonight, man. Ah, I'm good. Hey, all night, baby. Hey, we're running that thing. You, know, you want to set the tempo. Early in a football game, whether you're on offense or defense, you want to definitely set the tempo. And, uh, you know, we were able to go out there and stop them, and then the offense takes it down and scores. That's a great feeling. So uh, the challenge is to go back and stop him again immediately or get a turnover. Uh, go three and out and get a turnover. Defense playing their tails off, bro. We good. We gonna score the points gonna come. They gonna come one way or another. Sophomore place kicker Gary Wonderland would shake off a first quarter miss to add nine points to the Rebel tally. Playing with the lead and a fired up home crowd, the Rebel D would suffocate the Aggies. There's the snap. Allen in the pocket, has time, pressure up the middle. He's in trouble and will be sacked. Marquise Haynes got there first. You guys are flying around, I love it. Be smart, take angles, comes back to fundamentals of football. Now it's up to Kyle Allen on the offense to try to get him down at least in field goal range. Allen steps up, 
Tries to throw, flips it downfield, tipped up in the air, and intercepted by Ole Miss. The Rebels get it right back. Kendarius Webster stepped in front of it. Hey, 15, hey. good cover. Way to be locked in and go get it. I was kind of about 10 yards back, and uh, I seen Cam break on the curl route, and you know he broke it up, the ball went straight up in the air. But I seen Zedrick, you know, had his hands out like this, think he finna catch it, but he caught Ken's body, though. They were running a curl route with their number one receiver. It's one of their lead um, passing routes going into the game, and we'd worked hard on it. And I thought Ken did a great job of seeing it, got tipped up in there, and then came down with it. So uh, changing the momentum back to our side again on our end of the field uh, was very important in the game, big play in the game. Handoff is dropped. It's picked up by Ole Miss. Fumble in the backfield, and the Rebel C.J. Johnson scoops it up, runs for three or four yards before he's tackled. As I don't think Carson was expecting it. He tried to pull it. He tried to pull it. See, I ran right at the mess. Running back thought he had the ball, and the quarterback thought he had the ball, and uh, we ended up having the ball. Certainly, C.J. is the leader of this defense, and uh, having him back out there and being in the huddle, well, it just makes a huge difference. Having him back, you know, he, you can tell in his eyes that he was ready to play and he was going to get that de defensive line lined up and get ready to play, and uh, it showed. So the Rebels are up 13 at the break and a hard-fought first half, no question about that. Impose your will on them. They don't impose it. It's simple to fight. You're having a. We've had fun tonight, man. So have fun for 30 more minutes. 30 more minutes. No matter what. We've had some breaks go our way. We had some not go our way. No matter what, we do not believe. After 60 minutes, we'll all look up and see what it says. All right? Take a stand. One, two, three. Take a stand. To understand the challenges of a Division I football athlete, one must appreciate the physical demands involved. This game, between two hungry SEC West foes, was a lesson in bone-jarring tenacity. The Rebel offense had found its balance on this night, setting up both the ground and pound, and the aerial attack. Bootleg to the left, and Kelly's throwing deep to Treadwell. He's got him out there. He's got the catch, and he is in the end zone. Touchdown, Ole Miss. I've been telling him you can run a post. A uh, freaking post. Go, Good job, run. Good job, run. The way he ran it was was perfect. I mean, he he got into the DB's um, rearview mirror, thinking he was going to go one way and cut it back the other way, and outran him. I knew I had a post, so um, I wanted to sell it where. I got in his blind spot and he would have to turn and flip his hips and I leaned like I was going outside and once he threw his head and tried to find me, I stuck it and just started running. And Chad let it go and I just chased the ball down. I seen that guy flip his hips one way and I seen Quan go the other way and I said, all right, I'm gonna let it ride now. So I did. You know, it's hard to overcome big plays like that for the touchdown, especially when it puts you down the third touchdown. As well as the offense played, this night truly belonged to the Land Sharks. On the 49 of the Rebels, there's the handoff, and Evans is the guy that makes the tackle. Spinning close to the first down is James White after he grabbed him, he dropped him. I thought we played with great. Uh, energy and passion. I uh, thought we executed uh, as well as we've executed all year uh, defensively. Take it mindful that your teammates is uh, depending on you what to do. As long as everybody do their, uh, their assigned job, can't nothing go wrong, and that's what we did. Texas A&M will go for it with 7-10 to play, trailing 23-3 to by 20. There's the snap. He's going to hand it off and hit from behind. It's going to be interesting if he got enough. It was James White. This Ole Miss defense really just has continued to come up with big play after big play. We just got to keep practicing hard like we did last week, and we just can't slow down. We got to keep playing fast and physical. Can't take any days off and, and just stay hungry. Stay really, really hungry and understand what our main goal is, and we just have to take play by play, and everything else will work out. Good to get a 
W back in our books. Uh, that was a good game. We, we played like we knew we can, and you see the outcome. So see y'all next week at Auburn. Tough week last week. We made a statement. We made our minds up that we were going to make a statement. This weekend, went hard all week, locked in. And show tonight. We had a lot of fun. Still a lot of things to work on, but we're going to get back on it. And uh, our season's still the way we want it, baby. Let's get it. We have one game seasons, yeah. and you control you. Right, it, it's oh, really man. that simple. Now, congratulations. You're bowl eligible. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. I couldn't be prouder of you defense. That was a land shark defense today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, extremely proud of our kids and our coaches. During uh, adversity in life, you find out a lot about people. Uh, everyone, you, you find out a, a lot about uh, who who is really who, and that's what we challenged our kids with this week. Is uh, man, you play out of love and passion for 60 minutes, and that will be good enough at the end of the day for for us. We can look each other in the eyes and uh, and know we we did it the way we're supposed to do it. Great win, great energy, great passion, great love. That's all it is. It's just straight love. Let's enjoy the rest of the season, baby. Facing adversity. Presents a man to himself. Hey, we, got, we ain't afraid to bounce back, man. Just got to stay on the grind, man. Auburn next week, man. It's time to go eat, baby. We coming. I'm just on another level as far as mindset and, and drive to, to go practice and to get the week started and learn what we got to learn and push my guys to to know how I feel about this game and get them on that same level. We're not going to look for this as a revenge game. We're just going to take it one game at a time. No need to go no further than the revenge game when it's just, you know, everybody is here to play the game they love. You know, you need to play the game you love. You can't, can't nothing go wrong with that. Each Wednesday during the fall, tune in for a new episode of The Season. Also, don't forget to download the Rubble Rewards app for a chance to win exclusive prizes.